Good morning everyone. I am Tamanna Pahuja, a student of Vits Palani, KK Birla, Goa campus. In this presentation, I will be giving you a flavor of one of the world's richest coffee brands, Nespresso. This slide shows the company's overview. Nespresso was initially supplier of the coffee machine market, but it was only after its repositioning to the high-end segment of the consumer market that Nespresso became a global success. As of today, we can see by the numbers on the slide how far the company has come. Whenever we talk about a company's marketing activities, we take into account four broad marketing tools, also known as the four P's. They are product, place, promotion and price. In the upcoming slides, we will talk about each of them one by one from Nespresso's point of view. The first tool in the marketing mix is product. The Nespresso system is based on several fundamental criteria including practically designed coffee machines, high quality coffee, excellent service and strong and original communication. Customers who buy Nespresso machines automatically become members of the brand club. They benefit from exclusive offers and limited series, are informed of innovations and creations and receive a magazine subscription. The second tool in the marketing mix is place. The success of the brand has been due to a unique positioning in the coffee market, especially its choice of placing itself on the high-end market. While all its competitors sell in retail stores, Nespresso distributes its products only from a distance, through the internet and mobile devices or one-of-a-kind boutiques. The third tool in the marketing mix is promotion. Nespresso works with the advertising agency McCann World to create the ultimate coffee experience in all its dimensions of communication. It provides exclusive offers and magazine subscription to the Nespresso club members. In Europe, since 2006, actor George Clooney and the famous slogan, What Else, have been synonymous with the brand. The last tool is price. The company's positioning in the high-end market and extremely high prices are one of the main reasons of Nespresso's success. With this high-end positioning, the company reaches profitability levels that are only recorded in the luxury industry. Let us now talk in detail about advertisements. Since 2006, George Clooney has been synonymous with the brand. He embodies the values and the image of the brand in terms of elegance and prestige. In Europe, George Clooney is the brand ambassador and in US, Penelope Cruz is the brand ambassador. In Asian countries, the communication focuses on the fact that Nespresso symbolizes the perfect cup of coffee at home or at high-end restaurants. Let us now move on to the SWOT analysis. To know how a company is doing presently, we have to know its strengths and weaknesses. Similarly, to know how it will perform in the future, we must find out its opportunities and threats. This is called a SWOT analysis. A SWOT analysis for Nespresso is done in the given slide. Now, let's move on and talk about emotional branding. Many marketing experts believe a brand positioning should have both rational and emotional components. In other words, it should contain points of difference and points of parity that appeal to both head and heart. Emotional branding is becoming an important way to connect with the customers and create differentiation from competitors. We will now study in detail about Nespresso's points of differences and points of parity. Points of difference are those associations unique to the brand that are also strongly held and favorably evaluated by the consumers. They must be desirable from a consumer standpoint, deliverable from a company standpoint and differentiated from a competitor standpoint. Nespresso is known for its practically designed and technologically advanced coffee machines. Customers who buy Nespresso machines automatically become members of the brand club. This cultivates a sense of belonging to a privileged community that reinforces the brand's positioning. Earlier, a customer who bought an Nespresso machine was obligated to purchase the Nespresso brand capsules. The strategy was efficient because the capsules represented 92% of the brand's turnover as compared to a meager 4% for Nespresso machines. Since 2010, they have adapted to receiving capsules from competitors. Nespresso does not sell through retail stores. It sells via the internet or through one-of-a-kind boutiques. 
The brand associates itself with well-established restaurants that are known to focus on authenticity and quality. The chefs as consumer influencers are also regularly invited to taste new coffees. Also, Nespresso has fully automated distributors called Nespresso Cube which have colored walls made of cases of capsules on display with an interactive interface. These cubes are located in prominent European airports and represent innovative selling and communication media for the brand. Points of parity are those associations not necessarily unique to the brand but perhaps shared with other brands. They help to negate any potential weaknesses for the brand. Nespresso is known for its technologically advanced coffee machines, its quality coffee and its high standards of service. It is usually referred to as a luxury for the high-end market. Nespresso takes feedback from the consumers and competitors and tries to remove all minor glitches as soon as possible. For example, some competitors tried to use an ecological argument to discredit the brand saying that Nespresso capsules were very polluting. This led the company to develop its own circuit of recovery of used capsules. Let's discuss what we talked about in the presentation on Nespresso. We began with the company's overview, then we talked about the four P's and did a SWOT analysis. Then we talked about emotional branding and discussed the points of differences and the points of parity. In the end, we talked about how the company deals with feedback. Thank you for your attention. This presentation is created by Tamanna Pahuja under the guidance of Professor Samir Mathur, IAM Lucknow, during a marketing internship.